uh, welcome to the part 3 of this video series in the first two parts we looked at these three topics highlighted in green in this part we will look at the remaining two topics let's start with configure and manage virtual networking you should be more cautious and think more on this topic because the maximum number of questions comes from this topic that is approximately 25 to 30 percent so these are the topics at a high level we will go ahead with understanding each topic implementing and managing virtual networks this exam tests your knowledge around ip addresses subnets network routes and endpoints each virtual machine has ip addresses associated with it subnets they allow you to segment the virtual network into one or more subnetworks so if you do not work in the network stream and you are not aware about these concepts i would suggest to go through some content on udemy to clear your concepts you will also need to understand routing how the system routes work and how the assignment to the routes to each subnet is done last but not the least endpoints each service in azure has endpoint this is very useful if you want to make certain services private only certain set of users should be able to access it then we use endpoints so you see this line endpoints it will enable the private ip addresses to reach the endpoint without needing a public ip address this is the key so in a nutshell on the virtual networks you need to know all of these four points then the next topic is accessing virtual networks uh, through secured manner suppose there is a company called apple and it has a user base now apple would only want its employees to access the internal network of apple and hence it has to be secured they don't want external people for example you me or this hacker to access the network and that's where these concepts come into play security rules even in your organization whether you are working for a consulting company or a service provider etc there are security rules firewalls bastion and security groups using which your organization ensures that the security to the networks are provided the exam would quiz you around azure firewall it is a cloud native and intelligent network firewall why it is used to prevent or to provide threat protection an important feature is it has built in high availability and it has unrestricted unlimited scalability you will need to know about the two sku standard premium and this talks about the premium sku firewall manager is what you would need to understand and then the pricing and the sls so we saw azure firewall the next we are talking about security rules so through security rules each rule you have to specify the following properties like priority source mm -hmm. destination protocol direction port range and what action you want to allow or deny you need to understand what are the default security rules that azure creates now let's discuss configure load balancing in the configure load balancing so you need to understand what is a load balancer and what is the best solution for your workloads you need to understand the app gateway which is actually a web traffic load balancer for your web applications if you have some applications like a website then you can use this we usually plug this before the image server pool or the video server pool uh, suppose you are into a restaurant business and this guy is doing all of the waitering work and getting the food work uh, from the grocery stores now if there are so many customers coming in the load of this guy increases so you have to balance the load so that means you will add more people more of such people but how would you balance the load between them that is where so this adding of more of more resources this is called scale sets uh, in the vm perspective and managing the load between these two guys is what load balancer does so if the load is not getting balanced you will have to understand and troubleshoot the load balancer the next topic which is important is monitoring the virtual networks so the exam would test you around as your monitor network watcher and troubleshooting them so what it does is as your monitor it gathers collects analyzes the telemetry data from your 
cloud or on-premises application. This is the key. It can work with your Azure VMs as well as on-premises VMs. So this diagram explains it clearly. You have an Azure monitor, you have your applications, OS, Azure resources, or on-prem stuff here on the left-hand side. Then what this Azure monitor does is it collects metrics, logs, and then it sends it to Azure Insights. It visualizes this, it analyzes this, it responds, it integrates with the APIs and logic apps, etc. So at a high level, you need to understand what does it collect. It collects monitoring data, OS monitoring data, and so on. And what insights does does application provide? And these are what is important. So once we have covered this, you need to integrate your on-premises network with Azure network because that's a key. Whether you are, you know, in today's world. All customers say I want, I'm going on cloud so you will have to integrate your on-premises network either to do a one-time data migration or integrate that for future so that the client operates in a hybrid cloud mode in order to do that we use VPN gateway express routes WAN so express routes are very expensive it is expensive because it's a dedicated private network through fiber connections to Azure from your premises the advantages it provides it gives you absolutely low latency it is a private connection and it can also support IPv6 loads. So earlier we had IPv4 loads, now it supports v6 loads as well. The bandwidth is absolutely high, 100 Gbps, and you can connect your on-premises networks using Microsoft Global Network. So these are the key. So the important thing is reliability and speed. See, Azure WAN, it is a networking service, and it helps you bring the networks, security, and routing functionalities together. So the question will, uh, the exam will quiz you around all of these topics. Now we are done with this explaining what is asked uh, or the topics covered under virtual networks. Now let's look at monitoring uh, and performing a backup of Azure resources. So the number of questions is very less in the overall scheme of things is just 10 to 15 percent. So in this topic we will usually cover Azure monitor and backup and recovery services. So let's look at some of the key topics of Azure monitor. It will quiz you around metrics, monitor logs, alerts, and actions, app insights. So we already discussed that Azure Monitor is one of the important stuff, and it is used for, you know, analyzing, collecting the telemetry data around your cloud as well as on-premises environments. So the exam will question you around how that this data is collected, how insights and visualizations are derived, and how do we respond to critical scenarios via alerts. How do we auto scale as a monitor and some key dashboards? I would suggest you need to focus a lot on this topic because um, it the overall we also saw that in the previous topic also they had covered as a monitor to some extent here they are covering it in depth. The next topic under this banner is implementing backup and recovery. So what is covered here is recovery walls, uh, as your backup site recovery, etc. So the vaults are important. What are vaults? Primarily these are storage entities in Azure that house this data. It's just like your locker uh, where you have your gold and ornaments kept. During crisis, you can go there and get it. So lockers are similar to this. You store your ornaments or cash or some expensive stuff here. And uh, you can access it or you can use it when uh, you need to. So for example, when a disaster strikes, you can use your backups and the vault and so on. Azure Site Recovery, imagine you have a site in London and something happens, maybe uh, some sort of network issues across to the site or some kind of climate changes, a lot of rains which blocks the network and so on. And these applications running on these sites are not available. So what we do is we have an alternate site in Amsterdam. This is used for Azure Site Recovery. So what Site Recovery does is it keeps your application and business running and with a built-in disaster recovery service. So it is just like you have one region and you have region two and these two are always working in a failover mechanism. If region one fails, then all the services in the disaster recovery side region two would start and this recovery is done through Azure site recovery. So these are the topics on which you will be quizzed in the exam. Please subscribe to my channel. This brings us to the last part of this series where we are explaining what are the guidance, what topics are covered for Azure Administrator Associate and who should appear for this. Please stay tuned for a series on real exam questions for AZ104.